Dover Heights Commission holds a festival to celebrate different cultures, but that's just part of the work the group does. Two News reporter Allison Gens is in the studio with how they're working to recognize diversity in Huber Heights. Allison. Riley, hundreds of people stopped by the Huber, Huber Heights Multicultural Festival this afternoon. The festival was the outcome of two years of work by a committee of people who are working to make Huber Heights a more inclusive place to live. It's been awesome. I mean, I've heard word that this has been the biggest festival that we've ever had in Huber Heights. The foundation for this festival started in 2020 when Yolanda Stevens knew she needed to take action after George Floyd was killed. Yeah, I had a lot of emotions around that incident. Um, and I knew I needed to do something positive with those emotions that I was feeling. So I went to the mayor of our city and we worked with the city manager and we came up with this Commission. The Huber Heights Culture and Diversity Citizen Action Commission was formed to create inclusivity and equity for everyone in the city through educational programs or a multicultural festival like this one. We've never had anything multicultural, to be honest, and our diversity is growing in our community, and so we want to be able to bring all of us together in celebration of one another. The goal of Saturday's event was to bring the community together to celebrate and connect with other cultures. I really felt that my speech was already in action. People were really connecting with each other. I saw true diversity and, and peace here. It was awesome. And the business owners say the support was incredible. Huber Heights is a melting pot and it's wonderful that we can put stuff together like this and everybody can know that you know there is still some peace in this world and we can get together and all still have some fun and enjoy each other. The commission holds quarterly community outreach and education events with the next one planned for October and the commission is already looking ahead to holding the multicultural festival again next year. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.